I make videos to help people learn and quite often they stem from helping myself to learn. So in this one, what we're doing, it's a very short video with a simple, simple tip, but I think I've surprised myself. Better voice typing on mobile, especially with punctuation. I'm using Lexendecker and a, a dark, you know, reverse thing, the old dark theme thing. The point of it is this, I want to voice type, but I've just found a way that I can share, which looks pretty okay. What you see on screen now is the normal way that I might start typing away. So in other words, I might start with the keyboard itself, not knowing that I really want a voice type or it's hard. And then suddenly, let's say if I said something like, um, oh goodness me, the point. And now my fingers are getting annoyed. So this is the thing, I might go over to voice and let me just demonstrate the way it looks on screen. Notice that the QWERTY keyboard is still out that I don't actually need, so watch this of this video is to help people get comfortable with voice typing. Full stop. And it stops. Now suddenly what I've realised is that if I swap over really simply to the number line 1 to 0 and all of the full stops and the open speech and stuff like that, question marks, all of the periods, the full stops, then the voice part still works. So now what I've got open on screen is all the numbers and the uh, punctuation things and still the microphone opens and closes, which is nice. So you can you see I've now clicked the microphone to stop. Now if you notice this microphone by the thumbs up on the middle right of the page, if I go over to some separate symbols there, which is always useful for the percentage, I've now changed keyboards and you can see the percentage and a lot of other square brackets and ticks and rounded brackets and punctuation, sorry, multiplication things. And then I'll pause for a full stop, which isn't on screen. So I could go back to say um, this one, menu, full stop, new line. And then I can come up and say something like, right, what happens if I go back to the, get a rid, rid of the QWERTY, go back to the number and you'll notice that once I've got the number keypad on, on there, on screen, my microphone is now gone, which you could argue, well, fair enough, because you're on a, you know, like a dialer or a number pad. So if I go back to the QWERTY, I've got it. In other words, the microphone on the right. Tip is, I'm quite excited that I can speak quite quickly. Tap the microphone off, hit full stop, hit space bar. And then I can start typing again really, really quickly, knowing I can take a break. Turns the microphone off, hits period, full stop, new line. What is the person going to say now? I will stop there because I think you've got the point. In other words, keep punctuation on screen and not the QWERTY.